Hi everyone, welcome to Doomsday Watch, the podcast about Doomsday Clock. And it's been a while, I, I gotta say. <laughs> it, it's been quite a while. Okay, it took a long time for them to release the fourth issue, but they finally did. So let's talk about Doomsday Clock number four by Jeff Jones and Gary Frank. And this edition is about Hoshak. Or we can say Hoshak 2. Because it's all about the new one, the new guy. They don't say about Kovac. Uh, actually, they don't show him. But there is uh, on Watchmen, there is that uh, issue, that edition of Hoshak in prison. And he's being analyzed by Dr. Malcolm Long. And then we have a parallel to this edition where Hoshak is in a mental institution, Arkham Asylum, in Gotham, and he is being analyzed by a doctor. Uh, so, but, okay, there's, there's a thing about it. Let's go with the first point, that is, uh, he is remembering things and then we can see about his past. Let's talk about his past first. So, his name is Reginald Long, he's the son of Dr. Malcolm Long, and you can see his childhood, an only child, and Malcolm Long became famous for trying to treat Walter Kovacs, the first Hoshak, and Reggie was driving New York City when that big alien monster attacked, and because of that, because of witnessing people dying, he went to the Fitzgerald Mental uh, Hospital and he was treated, he was not well, but he met Byron Lewis. And the first time he sees Byron, Byron is going to fly. And if you don't know Byron Lewis, and if you haven't read Watchmen, he's the Mothman from the Minutemen. He's I think he is the last survivor of the the minute man at this no at this moment the first silk specter is still alive and I will talk about it so they talk and they know each other better and then basically uh Mothman trains the new Hoshak Reginald becomes the new Hoshak, but he says he is a one uh, man, minute man. Basically, Mothman taught him all the techniques and all the ways of all the other minute men. So we can talk about Six Spectre, the comedian, and uh, even Hooded Justice and Dollar Bill. And this is very, very interesting. It shows that Mothman was really not that crazy all the time he was crazy sometimes but not all the time that makes pretty much of a difference but as they were leaving the uh, institution there was a fire and okay byron decides to go into the fire for some reason that's okay uh people burn sometimes um daniel hoshak finds ozymandias by that uh, pyramid in the Arctic. He tries to kill Ozymandias and then Ozymandias says, <laughs> uh, funny, but if you want to kill me, uh, kill me. So, Hershek doesn't do it. And this is really interesting. So let's take this part, this flashback part, because it's all mixed during the, the edition so let's talk about the flashback and uh, during the flashback so we see that Reg was screwed by the experience of the alien monster he became kind of crazy of course his his parents died too and he was trained by Mothman like if you want revenge against those Imandias you need to know how to fight and they train and he escapes and Hoshek 2.0 is actually more dangerous than the first. 
for the simple matter that he was trained and the first was never. Actually, we never saw any kind of training. We discovered that all Munit men are dead now because as uh, oh, the new Hoshek enters Ozymandias fortress, we can hear the television, by the way, uh, of course we're reading, but you understand. By the way, he's walking and somebody on the television says that Ozymandias said something terrible about Silk Spectre at her funeral. And the first Silk Spectre. Sally Jupiter. So, actually, uh, now all the Minute Men are dead. What Jeff Jones puts here is like, okay, I am using something that was created by Alan Moore, but I, I'm giving the next step. I don't want to keep creating things based on what he's doing. It's not the step 2.0, it's step 2. And step 2 is the new Hoshak and the new version of Ozymandias by some matter trying to fix the things he's done and with all of that all the Minutemen are dead that's that's how I read it and then we go to him in Arkhan so Reggie is dead as a John Doe so he's questioned by Dr. Matthew Mason and this doctor is only shown by far. Later we discover that it's Batman. It's a disguise. So basically Batman became Reggie's father figure in this picture. Which is very interesting. But the most interesting is not that. Okay, you can say, oh, Batman is studying Hoshek. Maybe even I am underestimating this guy. So, <laughs> we have Saturn Girl. And since the beginning of Rebirth, Saturn Girl is there in Arkham. And she says, I need your help. Who is Saturn Girl, you ask? Saturn Girl is a member of the Legend of Superheroes. She's from the 31st century. So, it means that actually she is from the future she knows she knows everything about reggie she knows everything about batman and uh, because she's from the future she knows this hoshak is not from that universe and then she's like okay um we need to get out of here so wait a minute did saturn girl just come from the future to rescue Horshack? Because that's what I got, you know? And uh, the funny thing she says, I've been in her mind for a few days. So basically that's how we get the explanation of why the flashbacks, because she was reading his mind, she was getting what happened uh, to him. So this, this story is much simpler than the other editions, finally, thank God. So it means that basically, Hojak 2.0 is the son of the psychiatrist from the original Watchmen. Psychiatrist or psychologist? Psychologist. He, he doesn't give medicine. Yeah, that's how I differentiate them. So uh, Dr. Malcolm Long, so Red now Long, and then Hoshek 2.0, he was trained by Mothman, so basically he's the one carrying the tradition of the Minutemen. Let's keep that in mind. And I love that. Hoshek, Reggie, Hoshek is the representation, the living representation of a team from the past. The Minute Man, and he meets Saturn Girl that represents the legend of superheroes, a team from the future. So Jeff Jones shows the step two and prepares us to step three. I was very amazed when I saw Saturn Girl. I would never imagine she would be in this particular 
story. I, I, I thought, okay, Saturn Girl is here, it will be a crossover, Legend of Superheroes with Superman and things like that. And then suddenly, whoa, wait a minute, she's not dealing with Superman, she's dealing with Dr. Manhattan. That's incredible. And that explains why we didn't see the Legion of Superheroes so far. Sometimes I say Legion, sometimes I say Legend. Maybe I'm trying to say Legend. Okay. So, that's incredible. So, right now, Hoshak and Saturn Girl will escape. And that's incredible. Let's see what happens. I really, really love this perspective. And Tuesday Clock, I hope we'll have a new edition in May. May 23rd. Let's see. People complain, but the original Watchmen also had delays. So, this happened, guys. Okay? So, this is Doomsday Watch. It's much shorter than usual, but because the edition is much shorter, I guess. Bye-bye.